Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Catholic History Minute. Today we're going to discuss the little known shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. Now, many Americans have heard of Williamsburg, Virginia. Every year, millions of tourists visit the historic colonial area as well as the prestigious William and Mary College campus. And who can forget the exhilarating Bush Gardens theme park? However, for Catholics, there's an even more important reason to visit Williamsburg. Right off the campus of William and Mary is a small chapel which happens to contain the National Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. Now, the beginning of this shrine goes back to 1061 in the county of Norfolk, England, not far from the North Sea. There lived the Lady of the Manor of Walsingham, and when her husband died young, she was left in charge of all of his property. Her name was Raqueldis de Faberge, and after her husband's death, Raqueldis prayed to Our Lady for direction in her life. So, the Blessed Mother appeared to Raqueldis three times, showing her the house where the Annunciation took place, and she directed Raqueldis to build a replica of that house. So, Raqueldis set to work, and word spread fast. The English people were super excited because now they had an easily accessible pilgrimage site. And by 1150, a church was built around the house to shield it from the elements. As time passed, the shrine became increasingly popular. And from 1226, every king and queen of England made at least one pilgrimage to the Holy Shrine until Henry VIII. It became the third most popular shrine in all of Christendom. However, today most people have never heard of the shrine to Our Lady of Walsingham. So what happened? Well, the Protestant Reformation in England is what happened. During the early years of Henry VIII's reign, the king visited the shrine to Our Lady of Walsingham several times. However, when Henry split from the Roman Catholic faith and made himself the head of the Church of England, he and his cronies, well, they were quick to absorb lands that belonged to the church. The religious houses at Walsingham were some of the first, though, to betray the Catholic Church and sign Henry's act of supremacy, effectively making them apostates. And it's probable that they thought by going along with Henry's act, they would stave off the king's wrath. But they were wrong. Henry destroyed their houses, and in a particularly despicable act, Henry had the great statue of Our Lady of Walsingham brought to London and burned in a public spectacle. With the Annunciation House in ruins and the shrine completely destroyed, pilgrimage quickly fell off. And as more brutal kings and queens took the throne, Catholicism effectively became illegal. Now let's fast forward to the later part of the 19th century, when the practice of Catholicism was once again legal in England. Well, around this time, a devout and pious Anglican woman by the name of Charlotte Pearson Boyd converted to the Catholic faith. And in 1896, she restored the Slipper Chapel, which was a 14th century chapel about a mile away from the original shrine. And it was so named because it's where pilgrims would take their shoes off and walk the last mile barefoot. When Charlotte Boyd came across the chapel, it was being used as a barn to try to further denigrate the Catholic site. But after a lot of care and work, the Slipper Chapel is actually now the Catholic shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. The area of the original shrine is controlled by the Anglicans. However, they work hand in hand with the Catholics to try and restore as much of the shrine as possible. So what does this have to do with Williamsburg, Virginia? Well, in 1941, Reverend Thomas Walsh, then pastor of St. Bede in Williamsburg, worked tirelessly to build the National Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. Now, many people visit the shrine and they don't realize its incredible roots in Catholic history. And that's because it looks like a normal chapel. However, when restoration to the original shrine was taking place in England, somewhere in the archives back in London, a Walsingham seal was found from the Middle Ages. The seal contained an image of the Blessed Mother holding the child Jesus on her lap. And it's thought that this is the image of the statue Old Henry burned in London back in the 1500s. So from that seal, two statues were made. One is in the original shrine at Norfolk, England, and due to the work of Pastor Walsh, the other can be seen today when you visit the American shrine to Our Lady of Walsingham in Williamsburg. We as Americans have a terrible sense of history. One, because we live in a young country and two, because we no longer view our past through the prism of salvation history. But this small shrine in Williamsburg can help us correct this disposition because when we make a pilgrimage to Our Lady of Walsingham, we are participating in a Catholic tradition that is almost a thousand years old. Look, Colonial Williamsburg certainly has a lot of history, but it's got nothing on Our Lady of Walsingham. So until next time, Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us.